Hello everybody, it's Sam here and I'm going to show you how to make this double slider card. Now you can make a single slider, double slider, triple slider or a quadruple slider. It can go onto a larger card if you want. It's great to have in mini albums as an interactive page and you can have photos on here. But I'm going to show you today how to make this lovely one using all of the papers and the pre-stamped images. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to draw around our template. So I've got a piece of 300 GSM cardstock, but a 220 plus is going to be fine. So if you've got a lighter weight, as long as it's around that 220 or above, then it's going to be fine. So I've just drawn around all of the stencils, apart from you've got this slightly smaller one here and then a smaller one again. They're your matte and layers for the side pieces. Now, it's up to you how many you need. If you're doing a single slider, you'll just need to draw around this one once. I'm going to do a double, so I'm just going to draw around it again, just down here. Let me just bring that up a little bit. There we go. Now, some of them are just a simple square. If it's, you know, something like that, maybe just measure the stencil and then just cut it on your guillotine or your trimmer or with scissors, whatever it is you're using. Things like these thin strips here. I've drawn around two of them because you need two if you're doing a double, one if you're doing the single slider. But they're so thin, just measure the width and the length and then you could just trim that um, and cut one down on your, like I said, your trimmers and stuff. Again with this one here, so I've got two of those for the double. I'm going to have to do two of this one here. Now these are going to be cut, so I'm going to use my cutting knife to cut those. But again, you can cut them on your trimmer as well. So... Um, I'll be showing all that in a moment. So just draw around that one there. And then we need one more of the larger squares. So there's a slightly smaller one. That's just your internal piece. But this is going to be the front. And then this one is going to be the back. I'll just do that one just over here for you. And then that long one is the stand, this one here. So again, that's optional. Because this is a smaller template, so it make a smaller card, you might want to stick this onto a larger card base, so like a six by six card base, and then build up some mats and layers, pretty border, maybe add your sentiment on that larger card. If you do want to just keep this all as the card, then cut this one, we'll draw around and cut this one so that you've got your stand. So that's what it will look like. So if you're doing the double, you're going to want to have something like this. So I'm going to write on these because it's all going to be covered. So we'll say this one is the front, which is the biggest square. This one is going to be the back, which is the other biggest square. This is the internal um, panel, which is the smaller square. And then these are your side panels. So again, if you're just having the one pop um, slider, then you only need the one of those. And then side panel there. This is your stand. And then these are your runners. So these are going to allow everything to be able to slide. This is the slider mechanism. So, and then I just forgot to add these pieces in. So I'll just do those. And then that's my other slider. Okay, so that's what you want if you're doing the double. Like I said, get rid of that one. Get rid of one of those and that will then make a single slider but if you want to do the quadruple then you need to draw around two more of these and you need to do two more of these as well So I've cut everything out there, but I just thought I'd show you how I cut these. I've got one of these rulers here, which I find are great for whenever I'm using my cutting knife, purely because my fingers aren't close to the knife. So I can apply pressure. I don't have to worry about my hands slipping because it's, you know, far enough away that if it did, 
you're not going to cut yourself and I just line it up with one of the lines and then you push your knife into the ruler so you want to make sure you're using metal and you'll push the blade into that and then I'm just going to move it across to the next one and I'll do the tops of all of these pieces at the end but I just find I have a lot more control I can really push down make sure you've got a self-healing mat or something that you don't mind cutting into okay so that's those ones done and I'm just going to flip it around and then just repeat that again on the other side okay and then just push your knife in there and that pressure enough should just connect across the two ends there and you'll be able to pop that piece out Don't worry about how these end pieces look, but you do need to make sure that those are all nice and straight. And now I can just take out all of those pieces. OK, so rub out any pencil that you might have around the edges, but I'm going to just flip these over. There's a little bit there, but you're not going to see that. So what's going to happen is you're going to have your front panel, then you're going to have a slider mechanism in between. And then you're going to have if you're just doing a single, then you just pop the back on. OK, because I'm going to do a double, I need that internal smaller square and then I'll have the other slider. I'm going to turn them and I'll explain that in a minute. And then you put the back on. OK, so first of all, I'm going to attach one of these panels to my slider piece. So you want to take one of these here and it doesn't really matter how you do this, but you want to pop it under, over, under over i like to then pull it right up to the edge it could be this end or this end it's up to you flip it over and then just wrap these around now don't wrap it don't really pull it over just you want this to be able to slide down this part nicely and then again just wrap that one around and then i'm just going to add some glue just in the middle there make sure that none of that glue will go onto this piece and then just fold them down like so. I might just trim away that little bit of bulk there just so that's nice and flush. What's going to happen is, is that needs to be able to slide along your track, okay, like so, which is why it's important to have these nice and straight and also no little kind of snip marks in them with your scissors. That's why it's good to use the cutting knife and just go right down with one kind of cut. Now you need to repeat that again if you're doing a double. OK, and then at each stage, just check that it slides out. And this is now where you can position it however you want. So like I said, if you want it as a top pull, you can see it's going to pull out really nicely. But I'm going to keep mine on the side. So next, I'm going to add my internal piece. And this is just going to stop the two mechanisms clashing and hitting against each other. So what I would recommend is just pop some foam now in the middle part here. But if you don't want to do the double then you would just pop some foam there and then pop your back panel on okay so then that means that's all encased inside that piece there and then you can just add your stand onto the back and you've got that little kind of card nice little gift tag kind of size okay so that's the internal square in there now and I'm just going to repeat the process again so I'm just going to add some foam now along the top of this one on both sides and then that can stick on that one but you want to make sure that they're both opposite. So one's going to pull out to the right, one will pull out to the left. And then I'm just lining this up with the square on the front. Like so. So that could be the front now. It doesn't actually matter which way. But you should now have something like this. I'm going to rub those out just so that whoever has this doesn't actually see that on the back. OK, so I've just stuck those down. I'm going to attach the stand now because I like to have it upright so I can decorate it a bit easier. So what you need to do with this one is score these pencil lines here. So just find a track that they line up with and get those ones scored. Like so. And then what's going to happen, I'm going to flip this over now just so all of that pencil can be hidden and I can rub it out. But you want to have a 
mountain fold in the middle of the two largest sections and then another mountain then a valley and then finish with a mountain so you want something like that shape there okay you're then going to add your glue to this one and you're going to stick it inside there so when that all folds flat you will have your stand and then you can add your glue to either that side or that side and stick it to the bottom of the card which we'll do shortly So I've just added my glue to the back there, make sure it's the right way, right way up. And then I'm just going to sit this so the bottom end there lines up nice and flush with the bottom. And now your card will stand. And then that all folds flat, all of this slides in and that will go into whatever size envelope you decide. But like I said, if you don't want to add the stand, then that can be stuck now onto a larger card base. Especially if you're having maybe a triple or a quadruple slider, I think it'll look really nice. So I think I'm going to have these characters on the front of the card. Now what I like to do is just roughly cut around the shape here on all of them. So just get rid of any excess that you've got. And then I just use any of these glue sticks and I stick the image to a stronger cardstock. Because I want these to be more like an, an ephemera, more of an embellishment. So just make sure you cover all the image and just stick that down. And then when the glue's dry and it doesn't take long, you can then cut it and you just have a much stronger piece. And you can have it as, you know, little gift tags and like I said, stronger embellishments and toppers on your cards. Okay, so just give them a minute to dry and then just cut them out. Okay, and there's it decorated. Now you can use your layer here and maybe cut that in white and then you could have a hidden message popping out of the sides. But I quite like to just to have these papers just to show those off and it just extends the scene there. And of course, if you don't want the bigger pre kind of stamped and coloured images here, then you've got the stamp set so you can use those ones and those are a little bit smaller. You've got your space on the back to write your message. And also, if you don't want to cut around the little pieces here, these can be straight. You can just snip those right off. So if it's just a little bit easier that way. And again, even cutting around the curves, just have them as, you know, points. You don't have to have that part and it will just make it a bit easier to cut. But I hope that's explained how to put together this very cute little, in my case, double slider. But it can be a single slider, a, tr a triple slider or a quadruple slider. And it's great to pop in mini albums. You can have photos on the sides here, nice little gift tags. So there's quite a few ideas and different ways to use it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.